Hello and welcome. My name's Hannah and I'm the C5 Nut. Well, we are at headquarters. Well, not Citroen headquarters anyway, but uh, the place I like to call me. Um, so, yeah. Well, I've done it again, guys. i literally done it again. I bought another car. But... You guys think it might be a C5? Ooh. What's behind, under there? C5? Or C2? Or C6? Put down under, you know, pause the video and just put down. What you think is under that well yeah it was one of them that had to oh, i can't believe i bought i can't believe i bought it right i'm going to put you out i'm going to put you guys out your misery and then we will talk why i bought this car so i'm going to get the camera set up and let's pull those covers off. Right guys, the new car. Can you guess what it is? Well, I know what it is, but. <laughs> right, in three, two, one. It's a Citroen VX that uh, I've literally just bought. Now, it is a bit funky with the old paintwork just here. Um, I got the old buffing wheel out just to see how much of work the paintwork actually needs. It's not too bad. So this is before and this is after. Now, I've spent about two minutes with the buffing wheel and then a thin layer of wax just to see what the overall um, condition is like and it's come up really well i still got the rest of the car to do uh but yeah now this was in the bx forums about people saying that we need to save this car and i can gladly say it's been saved right so over the next couple of weeks um we are going to transform this car um, and put her back into a form of glory. Now, I've spoken to me dad. My dad at first was a bit unsure, but as soon as he had a bit of a drive and we got her back into the workshop, um, he said those crucial words, we are going to keep it. So uh, this is a new addition to our fleet. And yes, I have raised the suspension on high. Uh, it's just easy for me to do the bodywork. Now, I've only literally got this weekend to make an ugly duckling look brilliant uh, because this will be parked up along the side of, um, where I work on the motorhomes. So this car needs to be gleaming, uh, ready for Monday. So... Don't know what time it is, hold it, it's eight, it's eight o'clock in the evening. So I'm gonna burn some midnight oil tonight and possibly all day tomorrow and possibly Sunday to try and get this car back to where it needs to be. Now it does have a bad MOT sort of thing going on there. Um, it doesn't phase me, it, you know, yes, it needs a lot of work, but I'm willing to put the time and the effort into it so yeah, um, new project. So yes guys, we have an official Citroen BX in a wonderful um, place. Um, so first things first, uh, I was looking down on the, I'm, I'm, I'm in groups of quite a lot of Citroen stuff, you know, from AXs to BXs to GSAs to XMs, all that stuff. And when I see quite a lot of people saying, look, this car needs to be saved. Yes, okay, we would like to try and save every car. But the, the thing that I was more interested about this sort of 
story with this one is the last few MOTs are being clean and then out of nowhere just like the, the, basically the garage had told me that this car is basically good for scrap and I just for the life of me I just cannot get my head around the fact of that it's had immaculate MOTs and then out of nowhere just bang rust 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 and yes it has got rust yes i have had a quick look at it you know i went and saw this car last uh well we're, we're friday now so i went and saw this car i think it was monday or tuesday and um i sort of kind of made up my mind then that i will be having this car and the owner has said or the previous owner obviously because i'm now the new owner of this car the previous owner did say that if no one actually ask you know inquires about this car over the next week or so it was legitimately going for scrap and by the skin of this car's teeth uh i've actually rescued it and yeah um i don't like the wheels the wheels are very dirty very rusty mismatched wheels it drives me nuts the paintwork is faded i mean it's flat as you want to go flat um there is issues um yeah issues yeah the screen's got to come out there's a couple of other bits of rust down there also under the scuttle there's rust there as well but it is relatively solid ish um yeah it needs a lot of tlc uh interior wise interior is really really good for its age um especially the rears i mean yeah it's just it's you know it needs tlc literally um yeah and as we go around to the back the paintwork gets a bit funky um yeah i will say one thing about this car though it was at the national rally and it was at the bx40 anniversary this car was there there is quite a few videos on youtube uh that people have done regards to the the bx40 and the sort of national that you can clearly see that this car was there now the previous owner the guy who i bought this car from only had this car for about four months ish he actually bought it from an old lady so yeah now it does have quite a thick history um yeah and like i said bodywork needs a lot of tlc especially up here I, I don't know what's happened up here it's all a bit funky um yeah but we had the mop out just to see on how good we can actually get this car now this has only had about two maybe three minutes with the old um uh, was it the teacup and just to see the overall well, i mean we didn't go nuts with it we only just quickly put it on and then quickly put the polish over the top just to see what the overall look would look like and i tell you what in some places it's come up quite well and you can see before and after so yeah so that's what it was to start off with and that's how we managed and it's only had literally two three minutes with the old buffer with the t-cut and then literally a thin layer of uh wax so uh i'm quite happy with that result uh now there's one thing with working where i work now because where this is going to be parked up against some motorhomes I've got to make this look nice and pretty, uh, especially for where it's going to be parked. Um, now, our motorhomes range from anything from 80,000 all the way up to 200,000 pounds for the motorhome. So I've literally got tonight, which is Friday night, 
Saturday and Sunday to make this ugly duckling look like a princess. Now, you guys are probably pissing yourselves laughing, like, oh, how the hell are you going to do that? In all fairness, I'm not entirely sure how, but I have got a mate who's possibly going to come tonight to give me a hand. Um, yeah. So, yeah. As you can see, I've lost the plot. But I will say one thing. Having this car actually helps me with my portfolio with Citroen. Now, I am well known, I, I would like to think I'm well known in the Citroen world for my C5s and my quacky C5 caravan. But I would also like to sort of be known as maybe, you know, quite a good mechanic for working on Citroens. So, yeah. Now, I did save a was it i did save a ax a couple of years ago so i have done that i have had xantia before so it's only right i should have the bx now the the bx was replaced by the xantia the xantia was then replaced by the c5 so in fairness i've actually got the grandfather of the c5 and since i've had so, yeah, I've literally had the father of the C5, and now I've had, well, I've now got the, uh, the grandfather of the C5. So, even though I'm a bit crazy taking on projects like this, and yes, she does need quite a lot of stuff, um, I have been given a go-ahead with my dad. So, my dad at first was a bit, like, <laughs> what did you buy? And then on the way home, literally on the way home, he followed me behind. Um, he's such he had a little drive in it, so it doesn't have MOT. It ran out about a week ago, uh, but we managed to get it back to base and literally around the corner from where I work, there is a private road that you can take the car on. So we went down a private road, uh, which means you won't get pulled by the old bill and uh, my dad kind of fallen in love with it to the point of he said um, some crucial words i think we keep it so um yeah welcome to the fleet bx <laughs> oh my god right i don't have a name for it uh mrs c5 nut is going to come up with a name so uh as soon as I find out from her, I'll let you guys know. So, miss. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to leave it right here. So, take care. Uh, see you soon. Uh, if you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, please take the notification bell. That will tell you the next time I upload a video. So, uh, from the Project BX, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Well guys, um, it's two o'clock on a Saturday morning and I've been up for many, many hours. Um, uh, uh, I've been up for 19 hours and that's, well, obviously I've got a day job and two, uh, the BX is coming on nicely, nicey nice, um, yeah, uh, look at her, <laughs> yes, I've pol polished to an inch of its life, um, driver side, yes, looking really good, the driver's door is a bit iffy uh it's got a bit of lacquer problems um so i may have to do something with that door a different technique but i polished the back um yeah just like shiny shiny <laughs> yeah literally uh this is so smooth it's like glass it's like um down here 
up until this point so you can actually see the difference uh, like before and after uh, yeah I still got to sort this side out and not to mention I've got to do something with the tailgate uh, because she's got major issues going on here so yeah and of course it's only right it's now part of the fleet so we're still waiting for uh, the missus to actually say what we're going to name this car because you know i've named quite a few cars my dad's named quite a few cars my mum's named quite a few cars so ugh, it's only right that the missus should actually name this car um she's also told me one thing literally a couple of hours ago that uh, under no circumstances are we selling this car so not only has my dad said it but the missus has now said the same that we are keeping this car so and she's quite eager to drive it so i better pull my finger out and get this car back on the road yes well time's ticking um should i go to sleep now or should i just not bother sleep or car sleep or car fuck it let's go for the car right guys so story is it's like five minutes to three in the morning and i have broken the polisher so i was halfway through and it stopped dead and yeah blew up so um just like just managed to get the car where i need it to be so like i said the the front is looking gleaming i was literally halfway through polishing this side when the um the polisher suddenly stopped um yeah i'm not entirely sure what's going on with that i need to find out what's going on uh, but that will be another day to sort it out but this door's also got a tiny bit of issue about here um, but it's also right across the back end it's got that lacquer peel sort of stuff which is such a shame but yeah i mean this car is 31 years old so um yeah it's done pretty well considering how i got up to this stage um yeah i still can't get over on how well the fronts come uh like yeah all original paint as well so um yeah i tried tried my best um again the driver's side's a bit iffy but it's all right here there is a bit of a dent now it's come to light about here somewhere so not entirely sure what to do with that uh, but then i'm not a bodywork type person i'm more of a electrical person so yeah um now with the polisher i did try to see if i could polish some of it out and it did sort of come back but the paint is so thin it's just yeah i don't think this door's original um because when you actually open it up it's sort of like a different color on the inside it's a sort of like a grayish like uh yeah so i don't honestly believe that the tower gate's original um you can just about see a different color so um yeah i think that's probably what's happened which is a shame but yeah um what can i say uh, i do need to get a new uh, indicator lens because it's badly cracked it's also flapping in the wind so i'm gonna get a new one of them uh yeah um tomorrow well i wouldn't say tomorrow because it'd be my tomorrow but obviously it's saturday today so basically later on today need to get these wheels off 
and they need to be cleaned and sorted out. Um, yeah. Now, there is talks, possibly, talks of um, sticking some 206 wheels on. Now, I have got a pair of these rims. I have got a pair of these, which may look okay, but yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to stick with these wheels, but they are going to be painted silver. Uh, just to give it a bit more of a contrast. Um, the front bumper, she's uh, yeah, looking a bit worse for wear again. Um, so I'm going to paint the front bumper black, uh, along with the rear bumper, um, just to help the colour a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the project of the BX. Has got an oil leak. I think it's just a sump plug, um, but I need to give her an oil change anyway. She has a hydraulic leak, but it's on the passenger rear wheel. It's actually the uh, the brake hose that goes to the slaves, um, the uh, caliper. So yeah, I need to get that sorted. Uh, but in and all, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to head into my van and get some sleep because. I'm like a zombie at the moment, so, uh, yeah. Right. Well, guys, uh, this is a bit of an update. Um, fuck it. Well, guys, this is only just a, a bit of an update. So, um, yeah. So, I've owned the car for about 23 hours. I've only had about four hours sleep. And... Yes, i like to uh, show you guys what I've done so far to the BX. Nice and shiny, shiny. So, uh, I polished the whole bodywork. Um, I even went as far as addressing the front bumper. So, I've painted the front bumper in black. Um, because I didn't have any dark blue. Uh, I've also painted the wheels. Um, this particular side sort of kind of lets it down a little bit because I have got some issues with the passenger doors. Um, my bloody mop has died, so I can't really go any further with this side at the moment. But you can see just how, how gleaming it is. Uh, last night I took the roof rails off because Apparently these are quite common for leaking water, um, so I've cleaned all the, the rubbish out, I've uh, put some uh, sealant in there and also sort of painted part of the roof lining as well. I should have done the doors really, but I might do them tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to go too crazy because obviously I, I, I don't want to take, you know, this car has a bit of history, you know. And I don't want to take too much away from it because it will lose its, you know, character and all that stuff. Um, all the wheels have been taken off and painted. Now the tailgate, again, the colouring was just too, like, really bad. So I painted that black as well. Um, I kind of damaged the number plate because the screws were so rotten I couldn't even get anything on the, to remove the screws. Um, so I need to get a new plate, which I will do. Haven't done anything to the bumper. Again, this particular side's got issues. Um, I might address it tomorrow and see how it goes. Uh, I'm pretty knackered. Um, right, down on the driver's side. Obviously the driver's door's got a few dents, but you know, relatively, uh, apart from the, the, the driver's door, the same issue as the passenger side. She's relatively clean, literally. Um, yeah. A nice, good, honest car. Um, I will be taking it to our sister site, which is literally across the road, uh, to get it up on the ramp to have a look underneath. But in all fairness, 
Um, now, I'm not going to make, I'm not going to claim, ugh, I'm not going to put anyone down, but I will say the MOT looks suspect in a way of apparently it failed on certain items, and for the life of me, um, yeah, those items aren't on this car. The, the claims that the indicators don't work, they clearly do. Um, a few other bits and pieces that claimed that there's an issue and there isn't. So, yeah. Um, like I say, I'm not going to make name anyone. Uh, I'm not that type of person. But I will say that if you guys do look at the, uh, the MOT history, just bearing in mind that there was a few glitches and it may look worse than it is but in all fairness it's not um it does need um a wiper uh, spindle i've noticed that the driver's rear light cluster's gone it's cracked and also the near side rear brake pipe has also got a slight leak uh, other than that uh, oh yeah and two bits of welding one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side which is about an inch long other than that it's absolute fine so yeah um this is just me talking random crap so i'm gonna go off to bed so uh, i'll catch you